I know, I know what you're thinking. Where have you been? It's been two months. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm sorry. I've had a lot going on. Just finished moving into my new house um, about two months ago. So around the time that I posted my last video was when I had a fluster of things just happen all at one time. But anyway, I'm back. Um, but I wanna show you guys this new tool that I coded up within the past month. Basically it uses chat GPT to create sounds or it's basically like a sound design tool, but using AI. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let me get straight into it. So here it is. I've called it Sound Genie. I'm pretty sure this name or whatever has been taken by somebody else. I don't know. This is for me. I'm not like releasing it or anything like that. I'm not selling it. So don't sue me. I'm not selling this. Okay. So I've included four main attributes, right? So we have the VST, the instrument, the genre, and the mood. And then I have another field for additional attributes. If I'm feeling creative and want to add like more details to the sound that I'm trying to generate. So yeah, other than that, for all the nerds out there, I'm not gonna get too nerdy because I know this is like a music channel but the sampling temperature is basically how random you want the response to be so for example like if I use Omnisphere as the VST and I'd want it to be like super creative I would boost up the sampling temperature to probably one right I like to stay around 0.8 because I do want it to be a little predictable so the lower the value the more predictable the response will be and then the higher the value the less predictable the response will be so that's basically all this is doing and then up here I can also toggle between chat GPT 3.5 turbo and chat gpt4 so chat gpt 3.5 is still really good but chat gpt4 is the more advanced ai model so i like to toggle between these two depending on the kind of response i want back so enough of the nerdy talk let's get into making a sound i'm gonna use Omnisphere first. And then I'm also gonna be using the chat gpt 3.5 turbo model i think i want to make a pad let's do like soul or something and then the mood is gonna be chill. And I wanna do some pitch modulation. And swells. I don't think I've saved soul as one of my genres yet, so I'm gonna press this eye icon and save that there so that whenever I open up this application again, I can just boop, double tap it, and then it'll enter. So I'll show you how that works here. And then I'm going to turn down the temperature to about 0 0.8. So let's press generate. So here's what we have. Open the Omnisphere. We got that ready. Select the multi tab. Choose a pad that suits your taste. Let's go to the soul category. OK, this works. In the edit page, locate the pitch section, increase the pitch modulation parameter to add some suitable pitch modulation to the sound. There is no pitch modulation parameter in Omnisphere. I don't know. ChatGPT3 is very hit or miss. Adjust to 10 to 20%. I'm assuming that that is like the depth. This is around. 20%. Let's bring it down to here. Next, go to the amplifier section and find the volume envelope parameters. In the FX1 page, find the reverb effect and adjust the mix parameter to add a suitable amount of reverb to the sound. So I'm just going to add proverb and it says add about 30 to 40%. So maybe here. Eh. Actually, let's increase the time. Okay, chat GPT. I'm not the biggest fan of this sound, but that's okay. It did its best. So I'm going to go ahead and see what happens when I use chat GPT 4 with the same parameters. Okay. It says, sure, I'd be happy to guide you through creating a chill soulful pad with pitch modulation and swells in Omnisphere. So click on layer A to the left of the Omnisphere interface and click on the sound source browser. See, this is more clear. The, the directions are clear. It's giving, I know what I'm talking about. For a soulful chill vibe, you might want to start with something like Afterglow Warm Pad. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I think it worked. A voice 
interesting. Adjust the ADSR envelope in the amp section. Adjust the attack decay, da 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 da, to create a swell effect. So let's go to B. A slow attack, so around three to five seconds. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, click on the LFO1 tab. Got it. In the modulation section, set the waveform to sign. Okay. Rate a slow value, like 0.2 hertz. Okay. See how like detailed this is? This is wild. Okay. Now it says add effects. Click on the effects tab to add some effects to enhance the sound. A bit of chorus can add some depth in movement. Reverb can add space. So it says add reverb. So I'm gonna add proverb, add chorus as well. Oh yeah, y'all hear the sparkle at the top of that when it releases? That higher octave is nice. All right, GPT-4 knocked it out the park. I love that. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm going back and I'm gonna use this Genie Wish tool. And we're gonna use ChatGPT-4 again. This is how I set it up. So basically it gives me three wishes for the day and it pulls a random VST from my saved VST list. So I'm gonna click on the eye icon again. So basically the Genie will pick from one of these random guys and it will give me instructions on how to make a random sound that it decides with that given VST. Let's see what it does. Let's see which one it chooses. Okay, so we're using Omnisphere again. I'm gonna delete Omnisphere from the list just so we can use another VST for this example. Okay, we're using Serum. Okay, initialize the patch, start by initializing the patch. Oscillator A, go to the Oscillator A tab. Okay, choose Basic Shapes Wavetable. Set the wavetable position to two. And select the saw wave. Set the unison to seven. Okay, envelope two. Set the attack to zero. Hold to zero. Decay to 500. And sustain to zero. Oh, it's giving pluck. And release to 50 milliseconds. Drag and drop this envelope to the filter cutoff. Okay. That's so basic. Click on the FX tab, add hyperdimension, distortion, chorus, delay, and reverb in this order. <laughs> okay, for hyperdimension, set the mix to 25%, okay, and size to 25%. For distortion, choose tube and set the drive to 50. 50. And for chorus, set the rate to 0 0.2, okay. I personally think it sounds a lot cleaner without chorus, so we're not gonna be adding that in there. Voicing, go to the voicing tab and set the mode to mono. These both kind of get rid of the, well, legato at least gets rid of the pluck that we made, so we're just gonna keep it off. Let's cut this down. I like that, I like that. Okay, I kinda like what it did with Serum.
Alright, that's all I have for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the sounds that ChatGPT made. I think they came out okay. Um, I'm probably gonna use it as a starting point. Probably won't use it as, okay, this is gonna design all my sounds, you know? Like, it's a good starting point, especially when I'm not feeling as creative. Unfortunately, this is not free. I think ChatGPT4 also requires like a $20 per month subscription. So that's unfortunate, but it helps with my creativity, so I can't be mad. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.